Hi, I'm Alon. And I'm Josh. We'd like to introduce you to our recent study on the role of the caudate nucleus in decision making. The caudate nucleus is a part of the basal ganglia, a network of interconnected nuclei in the middle of the brain. A popular and simplified view of basal ganglia function uses analogy of the gas and brake pedals in a car. Like these pedals, different pathways in the basal ganglia serve to inhibit or facilitate movements. The caudate nucleus is involved mainly in the control of eye movements, in particular fast ballistic movements that we call saccades. In addition to its role in saccade control, the caudate nucleus is also uh, interested in valuation of actions. For example, what are the consequences of my actions, and do I like it? This allows the basal ganglia to participate not only in saccade generation, but also selection of which saccades to make. To further the car analogy, this implies that the basal ganglia not only act like the brake and gas pedals, but also help to control the steering wheel. This level of action control has been extensively demonstrated for action selection based on value judgment. What's not clear is if the basal ganglia can also influence action selection based on categorical judgment of sensory stimuli. The task we used is a visual motion discrimination task. On this task, a subject first looks at a fixation point. Then two choice targets appear, signaling that the upcoming motion stimulus has either leftward or rightward motion. Then a random dot motion stimulus appear and the subject's job is to look at the dots for as long as it needs to decide on the overall motion direction. In this example, the motion is to the left. The subject should then indicate his decision by looking at the left choice target. We control task difficulty by changing the proportion of dots moving in the same direction. For example, when all the dots move in the same direction, subjects can easily make a correct decision fast. When only a few dots move in the same direction while all the other dots move randomly, it is harder to tell what the overall motion is, and the subjects might need more time observing the dots before deciding. Previously, we found that single neurons in the caudate nucleus has activity that's related to task performance. In this study, we used electrical microstimulation to test directly if caudate activity is causally related to saccade selection based on sensory stimuli. The short answer is yes. Microstimulation of the caudate nucleus alters task performance, both in terms of which choice to make and how fast that choice is made. What's also interesting is that the microstimulation in caudate nucleus has two effects similar to what we have described. The saccade selection effect was like a nudge on the steering wheel, causing more and faster choices towards the side of the brain we were stimulating. The saccade generation effect was like a nudge on the gas pedal, but for saccades in the opposite direction. These results place the caudate nucleus squarely in the league of high-order cortical circuits that also play important roles in action selection, based on both valuation and sensory input. Given how old the basal ganglia are, evolutionarily speaking, it makes sense that they play an important role in action selection. It also makes sense that many diseases with cognitive symptoms involve dysfunction of the caudate nucleus. Enjoy the paper!